Hi guys, Double B Billy Boudreaux here, coming at you on December 8th, 2010, for this entry, entry 61. Well guys, yesterday I posted up my very first top 5 video. The top 5, or my top 5 rather, favorite Nintendo Entertainment System video games. And like I explained, Nintendo was the system I grew up on. The very first video game system that I ever played. And it meant a lot to me that, to do that one and have that one be m as my first top five video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, and I know a lot of you guys had some interesting things to say about it. Especially on Facebook at the time of this recording. I'm, I'm also trying to bring up my my Facebook on the internet right now. I'm, I'm running Firefox and... We all know what kind of what wonderful joy it is to use Firefox on all the wonderful problems that it gives us using the Internet. But then again, Internet Explorer is no better, and neither is Google Chrome. And while I say that, my Firefox will not bring up. Wonderful, wonderful. So let, what I'm going to do is, if it doesn't, if it doesn't bring up, what I'm going to do is I'll have my, I have the Facebook app on my iPhone here. So let me go ahead and just bring up my Facebook on my iPhone, and and I'll read you some of the top five entries that were submitted to me on Facebook. So, uh, let's see here, I push that down, push notifications, alright, the first one was from, on Facebook from Jordan Ja, his top five are, number five, Battletoads, number four, Contra, number three, Super Mario 3, Ninja Gaiden 2, and number one, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Okay, um, the next one is from Chase Menard. Number five, Mortal Kombat. Number four, Donkey Kong. Number three, Tiny Toon Adventures. Number two, Mario Kart. And number one, Super Mario All-Stars, which she explains is Super Mario, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, and Super Mario 4 all together in one game. And from Chris Trigger Happy, he posted up number five, Ninja Gaiden. Number four, he says Pool, but he forgot the real name. Number three, Mike Tyson Punch Out. Number two, RBI Baseball, and number one, Tecmo Bowl Football. So, gentlemen, I thank you for those submissions. Again, guys, if you um submit your top five on any video, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, you will get acknowledged. And if you do it in a video response, you will be posted up on the Facebook page and um, www.thewrestlegamershow.com. Now, guys, we have the podcast tonight, blogtalkradio.com slash WGS Radio, the weekend review. Um, I'm pretty sure Ashley has his review of Final Resolution. You'll be uh, posting up that review as well. So we got got a lot to do. I know I have, personally, I have a lot to do. Um, I'm just going to talk about a couple of things I've done this morning. Um, well, one thing, a major thing I've done this morning is, um, on MTV too, I've been watching Bully Beatdown. I just love that show with Jason Mayhem Miller. And basically, if you haven't seen Bully Beatdown before, the premise of the show is douchebags who really deserve to get a beatdown, they get a beatdown. They get it, ladies and gentlemen. And, um... What tempts them the most to get into the cage with an MMA fighter? $10,000. That's a lot of money to anybody. Now, some sometimes they walk out with a little bit of cash. Sometimes they just leave flat broke. But um, it is still a good show. And I enjoy Jason Mayhem Miller. He's a card. Whether, whether you guys like him or not, I think the dude's just absolutely hilarious and 
He's just full of energy, more energy than I got. I'll tell you that. So, you know, maybe if I can find out how to contact him, maybe I can try to get him on Blog Talk Radio. You never know. You never know, guys. Now, in the midst of everything that I've got to do today, there's quite the possibility I might be able to post up yet another top five video. And uh, I know I've had a lot of people send questions in to me on YouTube and Facebook, you know, for possible suggestions for another top five video. You know, why don't you do a top five favorite wrestling matches? And... You know, I've thought about that, but I think I want to do another video game top five. I kind of want to work, progress on the video game wise, on the way up the consoles I've played video games. And the next thing that was up on there after, well, I should say actually during the Nintendo Entertainment System was the Game Boy. I'm talking about the original Game Boy. I'm talking about the big bulky white Game Boy. We had no color. Or, and you actually had to either have a light on it or you had to be playing it during the day to actually see what was on there. That was, that was the first portable handheld gaming device I've ever had. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it's quite possible because, you know, I started thinking about it, and I started thinking about all the games I've played on the original Game Boy. There are quite a few of them, but I think I might have narrowed it down to five that I really, really, truly enjoyed playing. And maybe in the midst of doing one thing I have to do is I have to go to the wash interior to wash all my clothes. Because I ain't got no detergent over here, and the dryer don't work. But with that being said, I got... I, if I do like completely narrow it down, I don't have to wait till I come back to home. Home guys, remember on my Saints versus Bengals reactions video, I showed you my pocket video camera, guys. So, you know, if I get it right in my head and I have the five that I want to talk about, the five that I want to put on as my top five favorite original Game Boy game games list video. You guys will see it up here, and I'll record it using my pocket video camera, guys. If I'm at the washing chair, sitting by myself, and I come up with, if I finally narrow it down to uh, the five games that I really want to talk about on the video, I'll use my pocket video camera, and I'll record it right there on the spot. Then I'll just come home, put it on the computer, and you guys will see it right, right here on YouTube. But... You know, that's the advantage of having the pocket video camera. Not only that... But, of course, I'm going to film some home movies. Will you guys see it during YouTube? No. No, no, no. That's that's way too personal. I'm, I'm not going to do stuff like that. I'm not going to post up home movies on here. This is basically my video blog and my top five place, you know, to let you guys know about a few of my opinions about what's going on. And, my, of course, my, series of, my new series of top five videos I'm starting. Again, you guys saw my top five NES uh, favorite video games list for my, my top five for that. And again, I thank each and every one of you guys for watching it and again, continually posting it. Again, guys, um, like I said in the description box in uh, my top, first top five video, if you make a video response to that list with your own top five NES games that you truly enjoyed, you will be posted up on the Facebook and on the website, www.TheWrestleGamerShow.com. Because to me, that's only fair, that you actually took the time out to make a video in response to my top five list, stating your own personal top five, and you guys, you deserve a little recognition. Just like the three guys that I've mentioned, Jordan Ja, Chase Menard, and Chris Trigger Happy, they posted up. But they weren't video responses, but they posted up comments on my Facebook page in response to the top five video I posted yesterday. And you guys heard me a little bit earlier read off that list. So it's only fair that, you know, they posted up their own top five and I read it out loud to personally recognize them for responding to my video. And again, I thank you guys for doing that. And if you guys keep coming up with more of your own top five favorite NES games, 
Of course, I will uh, read your list out loud on a future video right here on the video blog, WGS TV. Now, with that being said, again, guys, you heard me, already heard me say I got a lot to, a lot of stuff to do. I got, again, I have to go to a washeteria to uh, do my laundry and everything. And, of course, you got to get, get ready for the podcast tonight. Be sure you check it out again, blogtalkradio.com slash WGS radio. Now, do I have a guest on tonight? To be honest with you, I don't have anything scheduled for a guest tonight. You, you never, let's just say this. You never know who, who's going to pop up. You never know who is going to pop up. I mean, last week's show was wonderful. Vinny the Guido was awesome. He's a great guy to talk to. He was wonderful on the show. He had a lot of road stories. And to be rather frank, I hope he calls in again tonight. I hope he calls in again tonight and shares some more road stories with us. Hey, you never know. Because he had some wonderful road stories, some hilarious road stories. And, you know, I hope it's possible that he could call in again tonight. You never know. You never know. Well, guys, I got to go. I got to go um, get everything ready. Again, guys, if I do come up with the, the top five Game Boy, original Game Boy games, like I said, if it's at the Washington and... I'm sitting by myself and I start thinking it through about what games I want to put on the list and I have it set and ready. Again, I'm, I'm not going to wait till I, I get home and record it here on the computer. I'll have my pocket video camera with me and I'll just film myself right on the spot just like that. And that, that way you guys can, can see it immediately when I get home. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Also, again, don't forget the podcast tonight, guys. Blogtalkradio.com slash WGS Radio, 7 p.m. Central Time. 